What's up, guys? Uh, before we begin this episode, I just want to let you know that I'm aware at the fact that I didn't really upload anything on Friday, and yesterday I only uploaded one video on Days Gone and another one on a horror game, and both of those videos were pre-recorded. Um, I've just been really sick. You guys know that I, I mentioned in one of my videos that I was getting sick, um, so the flu finally got me, and I've been in bed for like three days, and I'm really frustrated because this game just came out. And I haven't been able to post as many videos on it as I've been wanting to. Uh, so today's the first day that I feel a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to see if the fever does not hit me later on again. If I can make another video on it. And if I'm actually feeling good, then I'll probably make a video on something else. Uh, but anyways, welcome back to Days Gone. On the last episode, we found out some really interesting stuff. One, we found out how Deacon met his wife and um, had some fun there. We had a street fight. It was pretty cool. Um, in addition to that, we also followed the strange, mysterious black chopper, and we kind of came to conclusion that they grabbed one of those little freaks, and they were doing either one, an experiment on it, they injected some sort of thing into it, or two, it was a tracking device to track their behavior and where they live and whatnot. Who knows? Um, these are all things that hopefully we'll get to uncover here on, on the story as we progress, but nonetheless... Thank you for tuning back into the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. Sit back, relax, and uh, I hope you enjoy. So right now, uh, we're starting off this episode at our camp. Hunter. Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted in Marion Forks. Deacon, I already told you everything I know. Young, a woman. Wait, he mentioned Hungry Jim's. That old pancake house by the East Bridge. Lumberjack, big stack of pancakes. Yeah, I know the one. Okay, I'll start there. You do that. And remember, bring her to me. A group of drifters came through the other day, traded us a few guns. Maybe something you could use. I'll keep that in mind. Deacon out. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like we have a brand new mission. Okay, and that is... Uh, it's not safe here. Ooh, that sounds uh, a little interesting. Look what the cat drank. Ooh, what's up? Shit, sorry, I didn't mean to be gone that long. Whew. Morning seemed colder to you? Nah, no, it's about the same. Oh, man. I hope he's not dying. Okay, so before we head out, let's check out here uh, some of the things that we may need bandages, sterilizers, uh,. Bandage myself up. See our gun locker. We, we gotta get prepared for this, man. We gotta get ready for these sorts of missions. You know what I mean? Alright, uh... You know what? Let's use the sniper. I don't think we've, uh, sniped before, so... Why not? Do we have ammo for our sniper? Five bullets. Okay, that'll do. Um, the thing here now is... We actually may need to put uh, some gasoline in our bicycle or motorcycle. And I get a melee weapon just in case. So I have a feeling rescuing this girl is not going to be as easy as just going there and picking her up. You know, it's going to be uh, like everything in this game. A little bit more dangerous than what it seems. Alright, so I'm going to get the... Oh, look. Good. Get some gasoline here. If you can. And take it to my bike. And fuel her up. It's kind of crazy because in order to fuel her in a camp, it's like, I don't know, like 200, 300 bucks. And then here, we go. here, it's not like that. Here, it's for free. Or not just here in your camp, but like if you just find a gas uh, gallon or tank or whatever the hell you want to call it it's literally free so anyways i'm rambling i'm sorry so uh how far do we have to go you would have to go far but uh it's not that far can we go from here it's kind of like in the middle all right screw it we can go from here right all right, let's do this. Let's see where this is at exactly. 
That way we uncover some new locations, some new territories as well. So supposedly this game today released uh, an update, and well not supposedly, it did. Um, it was supposed to fix some of the bugs. That's been one of the major complaints of this game. All the bugs and stuff. But I still see that there's a bug, and it's a very annoying one. My motorcycle doesn't sound like a motorcycle. So, you have to pretty much get on it, get off, get on it again. Now it sounds like a motorcycle. I think that's what screwed up this game. Like, who allowed this game to be released? With so many dumb bugs. That was great. It's literally ridiculous. Bury this shit out here again. Oh yeah, because they're assholes. I think that's why this game got so many mixed reviews. It was just so many like people uncertain if they liked or hated the game because of I don't know. I think that's so irresponsible. But, and I'm talking about releasing a game like this because there's a lot of bugs. If you play the game, like, I don't know, like, you'll go through walls and a lot of weird. What the fuck? <laughs> that was hilarious. But we're going to take the other side of the map just to make sure I don't have to go through there again and die. All right. So, yeah. Sorry, that was not part of the plan. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> that was literally the game slapping me in the face for talking about it. Like, Shut the hell up. Look at the snowy mountain up there. That's that's pretty pretty nice. One thing about this game though is you can say John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Loser's sweet face around these last few days. You sure he's alright? Sneaking Loser's fine. Like I said he's just a loser. Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like him much. That's great. Like I said, I ain't his old way. It's a whole lot of music playing right now. All right. I guess this is the destination. Uh, one thing I was saying is that this game, when when something like when you leave something at a certain point of the this map, station zone. you go back to that part of the map, and the same thing will be there. It's kind of crazy. All right, there we go. Not safe here. Okay. You gotta be hers. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? If you move cautiously, you don't stick around long. Good for you. Hmm. All right, so it's probably this way. Smart girl. Stay out in the street. Only come out at night. The freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see. You fucking rippers, none of you are getting out of here alive. Oh. oh yeah. Sorry, god damn it. Spread out, look around. There's a girl here somewhere. Oh my god, dude. Are you serious right now? All right, so we have to clear out all these damn rippers for anything else. Oh, God. This is going to be a pain in the ass. All right. Well, it is what it is.
Oh, what the fuck? There's a sniper over there. Oh, well, thankfully, I got my sniper, too. Come on, come on, come what? on. What? Finally. Good. Good. Right, I think I hear a little freak here. Jesus, how many bullets do these people take? I'm sorry, but if I get shot with a gun like that, I'm going down the first bullet. Come on, try again. Look at this guy. No reloading. He left that way. We gotta head this way anyways. That's where the map says. Alright. Oh. Almost out. Gotta move. Heal. Heal. Okay. That's just nice. Here, cut! Goodbye. Oh god, look at his freaking limbs. Better than nothing. Jesus. It's disgusting. I love it. A little bit of a rough start there. Alright, finally we got a freaking plank. Always need scrap. Scraps. Um anything else in here that we might need. Let's see. Okay. Good, let's keep going this way. More scrap. Good. He's dead. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. Um gonna get the Molotov. Out, losers. Okay, can I detach? Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's more coming? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Hate you, motherfuckers! I hate these people more than I hate the freaks. If I'm being completely honest. Oh, there he is. Okay. I could have sworn I didn't see him there. How she get in and out? Ladder. This is it. Okay, so she's on the top floor. Come on. Just gotta set it here. All right, kid. Where are you hiding? <laughs> Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Seems like her parents died. Is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No. Uh, That's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa. Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. It was now, at we, school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop. And they would be here waiting for me and we would leave together. And I got here and there was 
a note that said they left with some men, and I didn't know what to do. So, so I hid. I, I didn't know what to do. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp, and to eat, you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, no. but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is for it, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp. I know she is. Okay. Stay close. Mm. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you kill them? They're gone. Lots of sick people. Alright, guys. Here we go. Oh snap. That's right. I gotta sneak around. Way too many of them. Okay. Follow me, Lisa. Lisa! We're gonna go around. Yeah, if these people spot us, we're dead. Not me in particular, but Lisa. She will die. Just in case, um, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna attach my suppressor, and we're gonna be in our merry freaking way. At last! Oh my god! Yo, this is very dangerous here, Lisa. You shouldn't be doing this. We should. We should definitely be careful here. I have these headphones on and I can hear them. I can hear them from like every single angle. Even though you don't see them on screen, they are everywhere. Oh, some bullets. Nice. Oh my god, look how many there are there. Holy cow. Just got a little bump. Oh, what the f- Yo, why is he on my freaking bike? Alright, let's do this the dirty way then. Um... Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, Lisa, hide somewhere, sweetheart. Oh my god, what the frick? Alright, well, we got him. Holy cow. Okay, Lisa. Uh, I gotta. We have to move. Oh! No, if I didn't die to a fucking bear. Okay. Anyway, I was saying. Come on, kid. We gotta go. Lisa, hurry your ass up! Come on! What the frick are you doing? What's your name? Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa. Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? You don't talk much, do you? My dad's a rock hound. 
He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is that? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay, Th that sounds great. We used to go all over. Belknap Crater, the lava flow and Black Crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. All right, so, oh God, we're gonna have to go through the frickin' tunnel again. Someone's in the tunnel. Oh, come on, what? dude. Here, hop off. What are we doing? Listen to me. The gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Do you understand? Jesus Christ. All right, let me craft some freaking bandages here. Um, see what else we can get from this car. This is going to be horrible. I don't even have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of bullets. Got this with fucking zero bullets. Oh my God. What did you drop? Machete. Should I keep the machete? Um, yep. Let's open this car. I just have a feeling that. We're going to need a lot of bullets for this. Gotcha. Stay here. Find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so. Okay. What do you mean I'm too far from Lisa, moron? I'm supposed to... Okay. So that's what I'm talking about this game. Like, I don't understand. Like, what? You want me to literally put her in front of the bad guys? All right, let's put her in front of the bad guys then. All right, here you go, Lisa. If you die, blame the game. Don't blame me. Men coming. Right, what you running for? This hey, asshole! We can see you. Oh fuck off! Ah! Fuck off! <laughs> Let me unattach my suppressor since they already know I'm here. He's holding up! Move in! Uh oh. Oh, you little freaking asshole! Cut your ass up! Oh! Oh, I'm gonna kill you, alright! You like my machete? <laughs> okay, let me bandage you up here real quick. Guys, these guys are fucking. Open fire! All right, good. Found the job. I think this probably is the last one, right? All right, good. Lisa, kid. Come on out, it's safe. Jesus Christ, okay. That's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Oh you look, okay? got some rags here. Yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Alright, I mean, if I was Lisa... <laughs> I probably wouldn't even trust Deacon, to be honest. Like, I mean, yeah, he's pretty much killing the bad guys, but I don't know. That's just weird. Like, suddenly some dude shows up in your house and tells you about this lovely camp that you should definitely be a part of. <laughs> I don't know, man. That doesn't sound very, very uh, friendly. I'm going to ask you a me. question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms, you know, like... Uh, Pistols, rifles, things like that. No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags. They 
made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland. My best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know. Stuff like that. Okay, okay. do you know where that is? Why is he screaming? They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. Why the heck is this bat screaming, dude? <laughs> All right, this is it. We're here, so just stay with me. Okay. Well, who do we have here? This is Tucker. Oh, my God. <gasps> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people Shh, got sh sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> Don't get soft on me, Deke. <sighs> hmm. All right. Well, Grandmama's not playing no games. <laughs> All right, mission complete. It's a rifle, not a gun. All right, so it looks like we have uh, brand new missions. This one is Copeland's camp and uh, new skill points. Let's see. So what do we have here? We have field repairs, um, ability to repair melee weapons with scraps. Uh, improves the initial recovery and duration of your stamina. Fight and flight, move and uh, and aim a ranged weapon with more precision. Ability to follow a melee attack with a ranged attack. Plan to display it on the mini map. Provides a chance to retrieve some bolts that have been fired from your crossbow. That's actually not bad, but I think I'm gonna do this one. Okay, fight and flight mastered. Um, steadies the weapon's reticle for easier aiming and reduces reticle spread while aiming. All right, cool. All right. So I guess now we got to go to Copeland. We are in Copeland's camp. And I think Cope is literally right around the corner, so... That's him right here. Wonder what the hell this mission's about. It's, it's not a gun, it's a rifle. Is that what it's called? Something like that. Oh my god. It is a little dark right now. There's a lot of these freaks. Alright. Okay, I'm assuming now it's gonna pro probably just go towards the daytime and there you go. Don't worry, we slept on our bike standing up. It's okay. So, you wanna learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any of your Marine Corps bullshit. 
Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. What happened to his face? Must be a bear. Or, I don't know, a jaguar. Or some shit like that. That's crazy. If it was a bear, probably would have ripped off his freaking head. So maybe not a bear. This is so like Red Dead Redemption 2, it's not even funny. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. Oh my god. It literally is just like Red Dead Redemption 2. This way. <laughs> what? Yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. That's so wild. Right, so we're gonna hunt down the deer and then probably skin it. There's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the tenth mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. <laughs> You got him. Nice shot. Alright, so track quarry. You have unlocked the track quarry, the ability to track a wounded deer. Uh look for the blood trail. You can tap R3. Oh god damn it, it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. Oh no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. You just gotta track him. Dude, this is so okay. RDR2. Yeah, I see him. All right. Oh, there he is. Okay. Gut the deer. Oh my God. You know how to gut an animal? Yeah. Look, Cope, Boozer, and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Rifle, not a gun. Copeland's camp. He's my brother. All right, so now. Hey, been seeing you around more. Hey, Manny. Let me fill up my 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 gas that bike tank. Of yours. Just in Need case. some fuel? Yes, yeah, sir. It's hard to find fuel out there. Yes, it is. See it. Hey. Manny, I'm still not happy with you. You got something to say about it? All right, so does anything happen once we leave the camp? Because right now, again, we don't have any primary missions, really. Wonder if we should go. How's it going, booze man? Fine, goddammit. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. We could use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. You, uh, remember what you're doing? Uh, yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Cope? Oh, shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Steve. See you, booze man. Uh, fresh meat. That ought to do it. We're getting low on meat, so what is... Oh, so we got to go to him. All right, cool. So let's go there. Here we go. Let's see what booze is. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. This earth is a gift for us all. 
to use as we see fit. To provide for ourselves and our families. I'm not saying this. It's the Lord that gave us dominion over it. But that wasn't enough for some men. They wanted more. When our fuel got low, they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So, we wanted to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. I think, hey, I think we've, read that. we've heard that before. Meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm, I'm not real hungry right now. I'll, I'll salt it up in a bit. Damn, he looks like crap. He's literally sweating. You know, one thing that I never really completed, and I don't know why, is she rode with us. I think we only need, like, one more thing. And that's pretty much uh, just go over there and burn Alvarez's corpse. So we're going to go ahead. Now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and burn her corpse. It's one of the things that we didn't really get to do. And I'm assuming once we're on the way over there, we'll probably uh, activate some new dialogue or whatnot. And it'll probably give us a new mission or something. So there we go. I'm going to put some gas. Yeah, the best thing you can do in this game Good. is literally not buy gas, like unless you really need it. There are going to be times where you're not going to have enough gas and it, it, it becomes such an impactful thing eventually that you don't really know until you start playing and realize, holy crap. Metolius Springs, Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't, but with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel. I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Keep it out. Alright, let's go see what the hell Nero is out to. Alright, some questions for me. Well, that's freaking great. We have a new mission. Nice. Alright, so we're gonna go, uh. We're gonna go burn her corpse just so she, uh, rests in peace. And she doesn't get eaten by wolves or worse, the freaks. Ah! Ow! Sorry. And then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do our thing. We'll go do that O'Brien mission. That should be enough to have this episode juicy enough for you guys. All right. There we go. Nice. I think we're pretty close. I remember that she was in the cemetery, and I don't know why I never did this. Like, I never really went there and just... I, I passed by it a few times. Oh, shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. But I never freaking did it. Alright, guys. Here we go. Actually, not even gonna lie. I actually had to go to my camp, get Molotovs and bottles and stuff. And uh, so I can be able to do this. It was a nightmare, okay? But... Rest in peace. They can't get you now. We just, we, we, he, we had to do that, man. All right. Chasing Leon, 100% done. Custom skins unlocked. Chasing Leon, custom accent. Well, that. Really? What the hell? So. How do you. Wow. Boozer, you there? Yeah, Deke. I took care of it. Alvarez, I mean. Thanks, brother. She did the same for us. Yeah, she would have. Deacon out. Alright, so now we're going to, I would assume, is the mission right here. Yeah. Um, track down Nero Agent O'Brien. There we go. Alright, this is going to be interesting. I think this would be... 
that's gonna put the icing on the cake here for this episode. All right. Mr. Agent O'Brien. That guy's a scumbag. Uh oh, oh, oh. It's actually not that far away. Sharp left here. Nope, not, not a sharp left. There was just a slight left. Kind of, sort of. Never mind. Make a sharp left here. Alright. Alright, this is getting interesting. What's gonna happen here? Infiltrate the narrow landing zone. Oh shit. Narrow soldiers are researchers who wear special armor, hazmat suits, and are immune. Oh my god. I'm assuming we have to get close to O'Brien over there. I would assume so. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, we can't let How long are we going to be here? What it takes, Mom. What does it take? I thought I saw something in our approach. I'm going to check it out. Yeah? It's probably nothing. Fresh carriage, maybe. Okay, Doc. Lieutenant. Don't become carrying yourself. Only animals can become carrying Corbin, not humans. You guys check the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. Alright, sweet. Now we gotta see, we gotta go inside the tar grass. And I'm assuming we have to get to... to O'Brien. Alright, let's... Here we go. Lieutenant O'Brien, field note 2006. On approach to the landing site, I observed a large swarm of insects, probably Antibiotis or Diptera, in a clearing well away from our designated target. From that distance, I cannot discern what was attracting the insects, but from the size of the swarm, recent carrying is indicated. Should be just over here. Damn it, where is it? Ah! Citratus is confirmed. Lots of floors are missing in the death suit. I'm telling you, Carrion is still mostly intact and appears to be what a coilius and lioness or mule deer. I if anybody could check that. Striation of the larger muscle masses indicate infection from the strain HB. We'll take sample to confirm. Hmm. Alright, we're about to confront him. What? Yo! Well, look at it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what would have happened? Something. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. What do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub, sub civilians, that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. 
The next time, refugee Nero camp, protocol, two the chapters seven were states. burning. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn, limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol, All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead. So I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh-huh, and I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand, but fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're gonna fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life! O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Dude, do you imagine? All right, so we'd have to go all the way here. They won't let me leave. Check on Lisa. That's gonna be okay. Um, wow. Dick, you there? Who's man? Um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Dick. It's it's all. Kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye booze, man. I'll tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, soon, loser. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. Okay. Wow, man. That was that was intense. See? I thought O'Brien was a piece of shit because it seemed. O'Brien. <clears throat> you out there? O'Brien. Oh, you son of a bitch. You better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Okay. You better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on, O'Brien. Get back to me. 
Uh, yeah, so I, I thought he was a piece of shit. I still think he slightly is a piece of shit. But who knows? We don't really know if he did kill his wife. Or if he did. That's obviously something we're going to find out very, very soon. Just drove off a little here before the wolves eat me. And I'm not able to end this episode. Uh, but yeah, that was really cool. I like the fact that we were able to confront him and get some more information. He pretty much sounds like he's telling us the truth. Uh, but he could be lying. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you did, leave it a like. And I'll catch you on the next one.